Hello, hello and welcome to this week's video. Today we are going to look on how to apply shadows to your object in Affinity. Okay, so in order to do that, let's create a blank workspace. So, I don't know, I'm just going to one, doesn't matter, just select one. If you come here on the rounded rectangle tool, for me I selected it from click and hold, as you can see, click, hold on your tool and then select round rectangle tool, rounded rectangle tool, click on it. Let's change up the fill. I don't know, let's select a blue or something and just create an object, doesn't matter. Let's change this radius, click on the move tool and let's move it across. Okay, let's add the first shadow. In order to do that, you can come here to the layers panel at the bottom and you have the FX layer. Let me zoom that in for you so you can see it FX here. Click on it and then you'll see that you have the option here, the outer shadow. So click on the outer shadow, enable the outer shadow and what I usually do in order to see the shadow better, I change it from multiply to normal for the moment. Go with the opacity around 90% and start adding a radius for the shadow. So you can see starting from 17 pixel, you'll be able to see the shadow better. And let's go with something more dramatic. So let's type 200 pixels and then created you know like a like a soft shadow yeah the other option here is offset so offset option takes the shadow and move it farther from the object so if you go offset you'll see it starts to create like a harder shadow so if you go something like this you'll see better now intensity well, for all the purposes it intensifies the shadow. You don't want to go 100% otherwise it's going to have like a very rough shadow. Usually I take it around 3-4% something like this. Even zero to be honest sometimes because it's give me a, like a very uh, soft shadow as I said. You can change the color of your shadow to let's say blue. This looks good and also the angle of the shadow so I can play around. Now, if you click Offset Tools, you'll be able to move your shadow uh, using your mouse or your pen, depends on you. So if you want to position it just the right angle you want it, there you go. Of course, you can add another shadow, an outer shadow, and you can change the color. So let's say you want it like a deeper, like a slower blue, then go Offset, move it farther radius as well so now you have like a two uh, color uh, tone shadow something like this which I don't know could be something nice if you really like it so if you created more shadows just make sure that we are editing the one that you really want or deleted so so we're going to use the same object actually no let's test it out so I'm going to make it smaller and as you can see that changed with my scale of the object. So let's create another object and do something cooler. So let's add a text actually, something like this. Move it around, resize it. Right, so this is my website. Click on, let's try to do cool effect. So basically, I want this to be white. Now you cannot see it. But if you click on the layer, go to the FX here, click on it, go to inner shadow this time, click on the inner shadow, normal. And yet again, let's play with the radius, offset, and intensity. 
and you can go something like this you know and it's going to be just like a cut out effect something like this and then you can go multiply or whatever to make it softer offset bring it back radius something like this and now you see you created like a very nice effect where it's like a paper cutout or something and click ok there you go let's move that around let's see how we can do another shadow but this time is going to be destructive so if i want to add let's say i'll put a star here just to make it simpler the way you can do it is right click on your star duplicate it and click on the star below the layer below that you created go to filters blur gaussian blur and now you can see you created a different type of shadow and click apply and there you go and of course you can play around and do it something like this like that and so on which is cool there you go you have three ways on how to add shadow to your objects in affinity photo hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did hit the like button and comment below if you have any other questions until next time take care